Hi and welcome to Love Doing Yoga on this Wednesday evening. Hope you're having a lovely week and that you haven't got caught out in the thunderstorms and the torrential rain that we're certainly having here in Wicklow. Um, so yeah, with nice practice this evening. Um, yeah, a few, one or two challenging poses and one or two nice gentle poses. So a nice mix. As always throughout the practice, listen to your body and only do what feels right for you today. So we will begin our practice in seated position. So make yourself comfortable wherever you're sitting. Close your eyes. Slow down. Let go of your day and everything that's going on in your world. Becoming conscious of yourself sitting on your mat. Zoning into your seat bones, having equal weight on both seat bones. And then letting that focus go to your spine as you feel yourself lengthen and open. Releasing any tension in the shoulders or the jaw. And then letting that focus rest on your breath. Inhaling through your nose into your belly. Pause. And then exhaling through your nose. Extending that exhale and allowing the body to just slow down into the pace of your breath. Taking two more breaths here. And then when you're ready, let's just take it into a kneeling position. So depending on your own body and how it likes kneeling, you can be like this or uh, down on your heels. So whichever feels right for you at this point of the practice. And then in whichever way you are with your legs. Let's just raise the arms up past your ears. And then let's slowly draw them down and back behind you. And on your next inhale, draw them up. And then exhale them down. And again, inhale them up. And exhale them down. One more time. And then if you were right down, come up onto your knees and let's just raise the arms up. Let the palms look upwards to the ceiling, feeling that length in your body, the arms extended, engaging the core as you exhale. 
for two breaths. And then making your way down once again to sit, just crossing those legs and taking the left hand, bring it out to the side and then bring it on behind, following it with your chest and your gaze. Trying to deepen the twist as you exhale. And coming back to the center, let's take that to the other side. So right hand out and draw it across. Again, just deepening that twist as you exhale. And then coming all the way back to center, clasping those fingers together. Just raise the arms up nice and slowly up over the head, releasing the hands, draw the arms back and back to the front. And again. Drawing them back and around to the front one more time. And then let's make our way to sit on the long side of the mat with your legs extended. Let's bring the arms out into a T Turn to the left and then fold forward towards your left leg. You can bend this left leg if you want to. Rising up, turn to the right, folding forward towards your right leg. And up and to the left. Going to the left leg and up to the right, going to the right leg. One more time on each side. And coming back to sit. Good. From here, bending the knees and making your way up to stand at the top of your mat. So as you're standing here, equal weight on both feet, feet hip width apart, standing up nice and tall. Let's take a sun salute on each side. So drawing the arms up, palms together, raise the gaze. And then sweeping forward into your forward fold. And halfway lift, nice long spine. Forward fold again. Stepping the right leg back for a low lunge. Taking it through to your plank. Remembering to keep those shoulders over the wrists, a little light bend in the elbows. And then making your way down 
onto your mat, either, either lowering, lowering yourself down or bringing down the knees, then feet, then chest, then belly. And then let's lift up into our baby cobra. And push on up through tabletop into your downward dog, pedaling your way in here, nice and slow, letting those legs just stretch out and come to a point of stillness, pushing the hips back, gaze towards the belly button, shoulders away from the ears. One more breath here. Stretching that right leg out behind you. Let's step it through. Low lunge. And then standing into our forward fold. Bending the knees, coming all the way up, palms together, raise the gaze. Through to your forward fold. Halfway lift. And forward fold. Let's step the left leg back. Low lunge. And then through to your plank. Three breaths here. And then making your way down onto your mat as you wish. Before coming up into your baby cobra. Gaze staying on the mat so the spine is nice and long. And then pushing up through your tabletop to your downward dog for three breaths. Stretching that left leg out behind you. Let's step it through. Low lunge. And into your forward fold. Nice and deep now. And bending the knees, coming all the way up to stand, bringing those hands into prayer at the chest. let's take it then to the long side of the mat opening those legs out so they're about three hip widths apart and from here we're going to come into our forward fold making your way down hinging at the hips let the hands come on to the mat here and then walk those hands back as you deepen that fold Each breath just helping you to get a little bit deeper. One more breath.
and then walking those hands back to the front let's just swivel on this right leg right foot turn that left foot inwards so our heels are nicely in line with each other we're going to make our way up into a triangle from here so work with your own body if you need to bend your front leg by all means do drawing that left hand up you don't have to have the right hand touching the mat you can be anywhere on this line but try to keep the body really all on the one plane and gazing up to the ceiling one more breath here and then keep the arms as they are bend this front knee and rest your right elbow right arm on that right knee as you are thigh as you draw the left hand up past the ear One more breath here. Again, the body is still all on one plane. And then let's draw up, keep the bend in the knee, draw the right hand over the head, following it with your gaze at that left hand. Come down the, the left thigh, reverse warrior. One more breath here. And bringing the hands down, straightening this front leg. Let's just rotate to the other side. So left foot is now at the back. Turning that right foot slightly inwards. Bring the arms into a T. Remember our heels are on the one line. Our whole body is going to be oops, in one line. Reach forward with that left hand. Windmill down into your triangle, your version. Gaze up towards the ceiling. One more breath here. And bending this left knee, drawing the left arm onto it as you raise that right arm up past the ear for your extended side angle. Lovely stretch on the whole right side of the body. And nice strengthening for that left leg. And then from here, drawing the right arm down so it's on the right side, keeping the bend in that front leg, draw the left hand up, following the palm with your gaze one more breath here and coming back to upright bringing both feet to the face the long side heel toe those feet together coming to the top of the mat feet hip width apart let's raise them up palms together raise the gaze and then sweeping them out to the side forward fold and from here making your way down onto your knees pushing back to the heels into um, child's pose with your arms extended out the front. And 
when you're ready, making your way back up onto your knees, hands onto your hips, let those elbows look at each other as we now draw a little arc raising the head into a camel pose, nice back bend here. Keep the hands on the back of the pelvis. One more breath. And coming back to upright, coming down to sit, kneeling once more, finding that length in the spine, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, closing your eyes, take a breath. And then from here, let's make our way down onto the mat to come and lie with your forehead on the mat, your hands either side of your chest, elbows looking at each other. Just drawn back a little bit so the shoulders are away from the ears. And then let's draw up the forehead and chest and then activating the hands rising on up into a full cobra so really nice back bend here one more breath and once again pushing back for a moment to counteract the back bend, coming into your extended child's pose. And from here, making your way down onto your mat. Bending those knees. Let's just hug the knees into the chest. And then letting the feet look up at the ceiling, keeping those knees bent, bringing it into a child's baby, a happy baby pose. If you're comfortable here, stay here if you'd like a little bit of an extra challenge. Release the feet, keep the knees bent. We're going to come up into a plow pose. So we're going to just rock up into our shoulder stand. So lifting up, let those elbows point towards the top of the mat, supporting your hips with your hands. And then from here, we're going to just draw those feet over the head. And you can have the legs out a little bit wider if that's easier, or bend the knees if you wish. One more breath here. And then bending those knees, lifting the feet up off the mat or off the floor and gently lowering yourself down onto your mat once more. Really well done if you managed to do that pose. Let the arms come down by your sides, palms facing upwards, stretching the legs out nice and long and letting those feet flop out to the side. And allow your body now to relax, release, and let go. Letting go of your feet 
on your leg. Letting go your glutes and pelvis. Letting go the whole back of your body and shoulder blades. Front of your body, chest and shoulders. Letting go your arms and your hands. Your head, face jaw and chin, the whole of your body, just let it go. And take a little time here for gratitude. Gratitude to yourself. And then let your attention go to your breath. As you inhale through your nose, into your belly, pause, and then exhale through your nose. Keeping that attention on your breath for the next few minutes. 